Howdy, I'm Mike Cermak. I started the Tech Support Guy website back in 1996 when I was just 15 years old. It's now one of the top websites to get computer technical support. It's free to use. You can go in and ask your question. A volunteer will try to help you out. And it's paid for entirely by sponsors and donations. Let's take a look at how it works. First, you sign up for a free account. Then you post your question. And then another user, just like yourself, sees your question and offers some advice or a possible solution to your problem. As you've probably done on other sites, the first step to using ours is to create a free account. Just click the Sign Up button at the top of any page. You'll have to pick a unique username that you'll be known by on the website. For your privacy, we recommend that you do not use your full name or email address as your username. Once you've completed the form, you'll have to check your email for a confirmation link that should arrive within a few seconds. You'll have to click on the link in your email to complete your registration. If you don't see it right away, check your junk mail folder. Before posting your question, it's recommended that you try searching for your solution first. To do so, just click on the search button at the top right of any page and type in what you're looking for. If you can't find your solution by searching, return to the forums by clicking on the link at the top of any page. Then choose the category that best fits your question. For example, Microsoft Word questions go in business applications. If you think you have a virus or malware, post it in the virus and other malware removal forum. For general problems about Windows 10, you can post that in the Windows 10 forum. Please post your question only once. If you discover later that it may be served better in another category, you can always ask to have it moved by clicking on the report button. After you've selected your category, you can click on the new thread button above the list of existing questions. Please try to provide as much information as possible about your problem, including information about your computer. If there's an error message, post it word for word. Generally, the more information we have about your problem, the easier it is to help solve it. We also offer the TSG SysInfo utility that can automatically gather information about your computer. Simply run this program and then copy and paste the results into your post. To help keep our community a friendly place for computer help, we do have a few rules. We do not support any illegal activities, including hacking or stealing key codes. We also don't support stealing movies or music, including using P2P file sharing software. Please remember to be patient and polite. Remember that everybody here is a volunteer. After you've posted your question, you can return to the site as often as you'd like to see if someone has replied to your message. An easy way to find your post is to click on the Find Threads Where You've Posted button on the right. Once you've solved your problem, it's polite to reply to your own thread to let everybody know what worked. You never know when someone else might have the same problem. Then, click the Mark Solved button near the top. You're also welcome to reply to posts from other people. You never know. Even if you're not a computer expert, you might know the solution to someone else's problem. Thanks for visiting Tech Support Guy. If you like our site, be sure to tell your friends and family. If you have any questions during the sign-up process, feel free to click on the Contact Us link at the bottom of any page. For more information about our site, head to www.techguy.org.